What better way to start out today's video than a four day cold start on the charger? What's going on you guys? I know it's been a while since I posted a video. It's been about a month since I have posted a video. Um, sorry about that you guys. Um, haven't had too much going on as far as the charger or the Cummins outside. I've mostly just been saving up some money so that way I can get some uh, cool mods for you guys. I just want to give you guys a little bit of a channel update. I also got sent in a couple little accessories for the car so I'm pretty excited about that. First, the 19 charger. Haven't done anything really new with this other than the fact that it has 8,000 miles on it now and I uh, just actually had uh, another oil change done on it and also did an oil change on the Cummins too, did that yesterday. Also nothing really new here other than the fact that I did finally get a bed liner for it. Look at this guys, it is amazing. If I can find a picture of it, what it looked like beforehand, I'll try to put it on the screen but this bed liner is super nice, I really do like it it's it's like really nice quality like show you guys everything there really excited about this really made this truck look brand new really took a lot of that wear and tear out of it and just made it look really brand new and i really do like the bed liner i had this done through the dealership gotten a little ploy discount and uh yeah i think this is a rhino liner so really nice they did the bed rails too i took those caps that were on here off other than the bed liner here this is the only thing that's really been done to the uh, vehicles since uh, last video. Just a little update on the uh, car and the truck, but also did order the first performance mod for the Charger, so that is on the way. That'll be uh, for next week, you guys. That should be here Monday. Pretty excited about that. And also, we do have a new vehicle coming to the channel. I'll tell you a little bit more about that at the end of the video. But first, I want to show you guys some of these accessories that actually uh, Pro Clip USA sent out for me. You can see right here we got some Pro Clip USA mounting solutions. We got some phone holders for both the Charger and the 05 Cummins. There's no place to really put your phone in either one of these vehicles, so I'm really excited about this. I really do. I don't know if this is like their color or what, but I love this freaking color. I really wish that this color was on the char Charger over there. I really do love this like green right here. And for the reason I'm not wearing it, it's a little bit small. I'm a little bit of a bigger guy here, so maybe if I lost 20 pounds, I can fit in that shirt, but I really do like this color. It's really nice. But no, this video is not sponsored by ProClip in any way. They're not paying me at all. They did send this stuff out for me to try out for you guys, give you guys an update on next video on how I'm uh, liking or using these uh, ProClip uh, phone mounts, see if they're good quality and everything like that. But today I do want to get them installed since I think these are pretty nice. I mean, look at that. They're like custom made specifically for your phone and for your car. Look at that Dodge Charger. And then you come over here, Dodge Ram pickups. So I'm really excited to see how these guys mount up here. I think that'll be really cool. I want to give a thanks to uh, Cody here for sending these out for me to try out for you guys. I mean, this is really cool. I, I love getting uh, stuff for you guys so you guys can see it. I've always wanted a phone holder because like there's really nowhere to put them on either one of these cars. Like the new Rams, they have a nice holder in them, whereas old truck, nowhere to put it. 19 Charger, nowhere to put your phone. So I mean, it's like... Definitely something that is needed for these cars. So uh, I'm gonna get these guys installed and uh, let's see how they look. Wow, that was easy, you guys. I just got it installed with just a little screwdriver here and a slightly bigger screwdriver. Literally, it's super easy. All you got to do is on this like back plate right here, you peel off two little pieces of adhesive, as you can see right there. It sticks into this crease and then this uh, line back in here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, let me try opening this door, let some light in. There you guys go, I think you guys can see it a little bit better, but literally, just all you have to do is just kind of stick it in like this, go over the thing, um, there's a little edge that goes into the body line on here, or into the uh, gap between the dash, and then you just screw this piece onto this other holder, and I uh, really should have showed you guys, but I'll show you guys on the Cummins on uh, how I did it, I'll try to do it, because there's no real place to set up a camera right here, so. I guess I could have done it, but either way, it'll be easier on the truck, I feel like, to show you guys, but super easy. This thing's like super solid. Literally, all I have to do is just slide my phone in, and look at that. That's awesome. It like points right to me. It's so much better than anything this car had before, because literally, you know, before, the only place to really put your phone, like if you set it here, it ends up sliding off. If you put it down in here, it'll end up sliding back into the seat. The only place you could put it is kind of stick it right in here, and then if like anything, 
pops up like a text message or something, you end up, you're sitting here driving, looking this way, then you look down for a second because you see something and it's really distracting. This right here is really nice. I really do like that right there. Like that is awesome. I really do think this will be pretty cool. Um, I can't wait to try it out. I'm gonna sit in this seat, see if it affects uh, the leg room at all. I don't think it will. I think, I mean, your knee probably goes like right here. So definitely have to try that out real quick. And uh, wow, I really like this. This thing's like nice. It looks flush. Got my apple cord right here. I can literally just plug it right in there. And look at that. That is awesome. Got the cord just going right through here. And wow, like that is nice. I really do like how that uh, works there. That is really cool. Oh, look at that, by the way. Got the good old razor there as the background. Really do like that. But dang, that is nice. I like it a lot. Like that is awesome. That right there is when I went to San Diego for a dealer trade. That was pretty fun. But uh, damn, that is, I like this. This is cool. Definitely give you guys a review on how it uh, works functionality wise next video. But. Let's go get this installed in the uh, truck now because this is awesome. Definitely a lot safer too because no distracted looking down. Like really, you know, before you go like look down to kind of look at your phone because it'd be in that little slot right there. Now it's just like, you know, you can kind of just see it out of the corner of your eye because it's up there up in the dash area. And it's a really nice spot, especially if you want to have, you know, my favorite thing, you know, you have this super track pack. You got your performance pages and everything up here. You know, I want to have my navigation going on down here. Well, like I can see all my, uh, awesome performance pages up here. That's definitely something nice, giving you that kind of like two screens right there. Look at that, I got, let's go to my home screen. Look at that, I got the horsepower and torque there. Woo, love that. So that's really cool. I think this will be really nice and I'm really happy that they sent these out for me. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, definitely, I'll put a link to their stuff down in the description. I'm no way getting paid from it. I'm literally just linking their website. If you guys want to check it out, I think these are pretty cool. Like the install was extremely easy. This thing's like super freaking on there. Like this thing won't probably fly anywhere. I'll definitely update you guys though next week. See how it turns out, like how I'm liking it and everything. But this is nice. I like this phone holder. Here we go. We are in the Cummins. The mounting location is right there. Sorry guys if it's loud, but I got the AC on. I'm literally like sweating. What is it? Let's see. What's the temperature? It says it's 104 out, so. Sorry if I have the AC on, but let's try this out right here. So literally, all it says to do is to peel off these two little strips. So let's get these guys off right here. This is exactly what I did on the charger. Peel off the strips. And then we should be able to just, this one you even is even easier. The other one you had to put little wedges in to kind of give it a little bit of gap. This one doesn't even say to do that. So there we go. And literally, all it says to do is push in with the sharp side there and literally just twist it over. And you hear that? Literally, that easy, that easy. And that thing is on there too. Like that thing is snapped in. You guys can see over there on that side. It goes in and kind of clips around that edge right there, which is really cool. And now all we have to do is take our screwdriver and the mount right here has this little guy in there just kind of get this straight and all you gotta do is just kind of line her up right in there and we'll be putting it on get it perfect don't want it too tight i think that should be good right there and now you can see you can move it around up and down i might have went a little too tight there let's just loosen it up a bit and let's try this out. I got the phone right here. And look at that. That is awesome right there. That is really cool. Let's just see if this works still. Let's see. Woo, that's close, but it works. That is perfect. Wow, still works with the Pioneer. I like that. I can actually go a little bit more over. There we go. That is nice. I like this one too, and see I got my apple cord right there hooked up to the radio. Now I can plug this guy in, have navigation and whatnot, and I could be playing movies on this because this is a DVD player, and I could be having navigation over here. That is awesome. I really do like that. Before I had this, there was nowhere to really put the phone. You could either kind of set it in the cup holder kind of, and it's like really down low, or I usually just stuck it in here, and then you kind of 
you know, you're driving along and you see something, you kind of look down and it's kind of, you know, unsafe and dangerous. Now, this one's actually really nice. It's nice and up high. It's right next to the radio. I really like that. That's actually really nice. So definitely liking these pro clips right here. These are really cool. I think this is going to be awesome for the truck. I'm thinking for now on, I think every one of my vehicles will probably be getting one of these because these are actually really nice. They fit in there good. They look like they're damn near OEM. Like they're not no stupid stick on the windshield kind. You know, it's going to fall off or some type of aftermarket thing. It doesn't hold the phone in properly. Like this thing's got my phone in there perfectly snug, really nice. Like, I, I like it. Um, I'll definitely, again, give you guys an updated review next week in next week's video, kind of tell you guys how I like them. But the easy installation and um, the really uh, just niceness of it, I really do like it. So there you guys go. There's the new little accessories for the truck. If you haven't already, check out ProClip USA. I think these are pretty nice. I think I'm gonna really like them. And I think I'm gonna want them in my next new vehicle, which I guess we'll get into that right here, right now, kind of turn that down, try to give you guys a little better audio quality. Um, we are getting a new vehicle for the channel, um, or I'm at least trying to acquire it right now. That's kind of what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get the purchase. So I'll give you guys a little bit of a hint for the new vehicle. It is something very familiar, yet it's also something I've never had. So this is going to be pretty cool. I'm really excited to get one of these. I think this is going to be super awesome for the channel. I'm super excited to be driving one. And Place your guesses in the comments below. What do you guys think it is? Something very familiar you have never had. So place your guesses down below and uh, I'll be looking through them, see if you guys, any of you guys can uh, guess what it is. So I'll be checking through those comments to see if you guys can get it right. And uh, next week we will have a video on the charger. We'll be putting a nice performance mod underneath the hood. So I'm really excited to hear that. And yeah, I can't wait to get this vehicle. Uh, hopefully next video I'll have more updated details on if I am able to buy it. I'm really excited to get this new vehicle for the channel. Like there, there's so many things that I want to do to it and uh, this will be pretty awesome. I, I can't wait. It's gonna be a lot of in-depth stuff for the vehicle. So this will be pretty fun. I hope I get it. Place your guesses down below and uh, see you guys next week with the uh, charger performance mod and before you go i also will be posting the performance mod and the new vehicle first on my instagram i will be posting those there so if you guys want to get the inside scoop the first details on the new vehicle for the channel check out my instagram at the o2 cummins ram link in the description below thank you guys for watching see you guys later yeah before you go cannot forget the stickers of course let's go put this one on the truck too looking good now